what's going on everybody boss my truck here in big maroon today it is uh friday june 5th 2020 local time of 5 14 p.m central time uh currently located and coming into uh we're currently located in east st louis illinois on the illinois side temperature of 90 degrees so it's hot out here um as we're getting ready to come into st louis missouri as we are journeying on to uh, Keller, Texas. Yes, I'm just starting out. I started out earlier today. I, uh, as y'all saw, I shut down up in Troy at the pilot. Uh, or you're about to see it, anyways. Everything's going alright, just one of those days, I guess. <laughs> I slept pretty good. Uh, woke up a little late. I was going to do a little walkabout around there, but... Woke up a little late. I didn't want to start any later, so... I wanted to start as soon as possible. Which is fine. I mean, we got time with the delivery. I mean... Don't like to start later if I have to. <laughs> Either way, I'm fine with it because I don't mind getting there. Going to there at night because I prefer it. Especially on the weekends because you know how it is. Uh, this traffic is crazy and stuff. And Especially when I go into Texas, I prefer to go in at night than at the day. Happy Friday, everybody. Happy Friday. And happy weekend. I hope everybody has a wonderful weekend. Whatever y'all do, just stay safe and enjoy it. Um, I was doing my trip plan earlier, and I know I said last night I was going to take 67. But uh, GPS says it's uh, faster going through 69, and I'm going to go that way. We'll save 67 for another time. I'm trying to get this there, you know, quick and efficient so I can get on to my next one for my home time and stuff. There's the St. Louis, Missouri Arch. Welcome to Missouri and welcome to St. Louis, everybody. So we're gonna go to 69. I mean, I was doing a comparison of routes and both from my app and the GPS and it says that it's less miles going that way than going through uh, 67. I believe it makes sense because uh, I think Keller's on that side of Texas and we're basically coming through the front of it if we go this way. And next time I'll go through uh, 67. So 
know, sit back, relax, and enjoy the ride, and thank you for tuning in. Let me address something here. Um, I just seen someone put a comment that, "Who I stay, I go home more often, and John stayed out two months, whatever, and this and that." And I put in this comment, "I don't care if he, what he thinks. I mean, <laughs> I stay out three weeks out, and that's it, no more, unless I'm masked you like I am this time." But just because somebody else, you know, stays out longer than me, don't mean I have to do it just because he does. I mean, if he does it, that's his prerogative. Or what he wants to stay out, or whatever, I mean. John likes to stay out longer than whoever does. That's, that's his thing, I mean. I don't gotta do it because he does it. <laughs> but I got a life besides staying out here on the road all the time, I mean. Eventually, I want to get off the truck and take a break and be ready to do it again. Just like to put that out there, I mean. It does puzzle me when someone tries to judge my home time and how long I stay out. I, mean, I know I'm not supposed to, but just like to put that out there. I'm gonna do a live stream walkabout on Sunday. Just let y'all know. I was gonna do one today, but like I said, I woke up later and I didn't want to start late. <laughs> later -er than I wanted, you know. Because the later you start, it starts absorbing into your energy that you're gonna have for driving and. <laughs> I need as much as possible, so. There was a decent amount of trucks there at Detroit. That's because people are starting to shut down by now. Looks to be a pretty day today, not crazy. I mean, sorry. Yeah, this person's on the phone. Then after Keller, Texas, we are picking up in uh, Dallas, Texas at White Waste Food, bound for... Uh, that we're going to uh, Mount Crawford, Virginia. And from there we go home to do our home time.
seems to be a pretty day though. Another thing I'd like to address on regards to home time that someone said that boss is sending so me and John home at the same time because it's slow and all that. I mean, technically, no. A little bit yes and no because he sent us home because we're due on our home time. I mean, it doesn't matter if, if John's doing it too. I mean, if, if he's doing it at the same time, that's cool. I mean. <laughs> It's not a pick and choosy thing, you know. Just the way it goes. And boss knows that when we get when we get in close to our home time, you know it's time to send us home, not because it's jaw flow or anything. Just wanted to put that out there as well. Everybody, I'm gonna let y'all go. Just want to come up here and give you a quick update, and I guess we'll see y'all later up in uh, Joplin, Oklahoma area, right? Thank y'all. Stay safe out there. Let's check out this bridge. Someone dropped a table. <laughs> After this bridge, I'll let y'all go. Thank you. What's up everybody? Boss with Trucker here in Big Maroon. Today it is uh, Friday, June 5th, 2020. Local time at 9.44 p.m. Central Time. Current located here in, uh, coming into Joplin, Missouri. Joplin. Temperature 82 degrees. Dang, it's still hot out here. <laughs> uh, as we are journey on to Keller, Texas, everything's going pretty good. Just out here doing my thing, guys. Sit back, relax, enjoy the ride, and thank you for tuning in. Everything's be going holding up pretty good. No craziness with traffic or anything. Just it's running pretty smooth. Like I was explaining on an earlier clip where I was in St. Louis and stuff. Um, not going to Texas, I like to run it at night because I feel I move a lot better when I get to there. And it helps me out, you know, get there a lot more efficiency than running through the day because during the, during the day you got to fight with all the other craziness of people holding you up and stuff. And yeah. prefer to get there up now. I know it kind of messes y'all up for video sake, but I know some of y'all like night stuff anyway. So. Does this make me the new night owl of ADL? I don't know. Yeah. You guys tell me that.
Notice that size spray is funny. I'm about to look into that. When I get to the high heels. We're fixing to pass the uh, Petro here in Joplin, Missouri. Pulling people in because the one up in uh, what was that one? Sinclair. That one got me in too. Y'all do. What did y'all do? I guess they want me to go this way. to see us like I said the one up in uh close the window back in St. Clair Missouri that first one there that one got me in too that one didn't give me no light this one did sometimes they like to see us sometimes they don't <laughs> I'm saying yeah miss jack's lady trucker clean up your mess yesterday i think the boss done sent me the next free plan Yeah, I cleaned up your mask yesterday. <laughs> that wasn't nice. Well, today, actually. Could have made you do a shop back so over there. Right across from y'all. It's all right, I'll let it go this time. No, I saw the comment up here, Locke, saying that Long haul Larry made a Boston trucker shirt with a plunger. Yeah. I think it's time for me to get him back.
he's also asking me what time when I'm going to do the uh, live stream at home when I'm home on Saturday because we're going to do this early because we're going to do a uh, walkabout in the neighborhood. I'm thinking about maybe 8 o'clock, somewhere in there. 8 o'clock Eastern Time. That's uh, next Saturday, the uh, week from tomorrow. Welcome to Oklahoma, everybody. Welcome to Oklahoma. Yeah, a week from tomorrow, we'll do about 8 o'clock Eastern Time. Try to have the GoPro working. It should be working by now. We're ready to start working again. news you know my dad aka the weatherman <laughs> funny man whatever you call him whatever you guys call him um he uh that day that I was convoying with John um when we picked up in Mount Crawford and uh after that I went to the loves there on that new one in uh Stanton Virginia off exit 213 I went there to get some supplies and stuff and uh he called me up and he let me know that uh, uh, he bought himself a, a new work truck. That's right. He bought himself a new work truck. I believe it's a, a uh, 2011 Chevrolet Silverado. Uh, it's a long bed with a uh, camper on it. He's been wanting something like that to keep his tools from getting wet and stuff. and Because he uses my current red one and uh, never really he gets help or something. And well, now he has to keep uh, uh, like a uh, special container to put the tools in there so it don't get wet. It does have a toolbox, but it still gets water in there. When I had what? When I got that truck, uh, I put uh, one of those toolboxes that go inside the bed, not over the bed, but inside. It's kind of nice. It was my cousin's, but he sold it to me and put it in. I don't want no camper on my truck. <laughs> yeah, I guess to recap, I have two uh, trucks. Um, the red Ram, which is a 06 model, and then my uh, blue one, which is a 2019. So one y'all ride in with me at times. Let's go. You've been contemplating getting something like that, or a van, or something, but he decided for the truck. <laughs> He was asking me for my opinion and everything. I'm like, you hear what you feel that's going to work out for you for what you do, you know. Make sure it suits you, you know. It smells funny. Y'all let one out? <laughs> Not like a chicken farm out here. Woo, me. Did Long Haul Larry put Johnny the chicken in here? <laughs> so, yeah, I told him, you know, just... You would make sure it works out for you, make sure it can, you know, be suitable for what you're doing, you know. He felt that, that truck was what he was made for him, so I said, okay. Oh, 
it works out for you. He's probably not going to keep it long. I mean, you probably keep it about a year or so and see how it works out. And, and uh, if it works out for you, keep it for whatever. And then after that, it probably gets something else again. And he works for himself. He doesn't sit work for anybody else anymore. He helps out a guy that's got a contract, handy uh, man contract through his uh, apartment complex, which is the guy I bought the uh, red ram from. Uh, what happened to those apartments, uh, the water heaters tend to go out on them and he can do them but he just doesn't, you know, he feels more comfortable letting dad do it, he's more experienced on it. Um, so yeah, so whenever those uh, water heaters go out, he gives them a call and he goes out and helps them out. He helps them out with other stuff too. I see his there. He's just contracted to him uh, over there in Chapel Hill. We started that right before I was. You know, I started making my mind to get into the trucking and everything. And uh, while I was in school, I would go help out too. That kind of helped me out, you know, making some extra money while I was still, you know, no job, whatever. Up until uh, I graduated the trucking school and moved on to Stevens or whatnot. whatnot and uh, it helped out for a little bit. I needed something to, to still stay alive so that I can maintain uh, my stuff, you know, because I was still, the only thing I still had left paying over is that black BMW, and I was wanting to make sure I stayed on time on that stuff and stay on top of it, you know what I mean? We only help out that guy when he needs them. And then, uh, brother and that, he sticks to his own stuff. We used to work together back with the company, but uh, they were starting to be a little bit Scrooges, and I decided to leave, and Something else came out better for me, and as I thought it was, but so I decided to leave, and then things got crazier over there with him too, and then he decided to leave after that. So it's the way it goes, you know. Yeah, we were the father and son team back then, and we don't know. It didn't, we didn't always work together. At times, they would separate us and uh, I'll work somebody else. Whenever that person's helper calls out or something, I was helper back then when I started. But then, you know, as I got experienced, I later became uh, a helper technician, both at the same time. I was ready, you know, up to where, uh, experience, you know, it was fun and all up until, you know, things started getting more crazy up there and I just said, you know, it's time to hit the road and move on to something else. Then I decided to move on to that moving company and try to do moving because they try to track me that they can help me get the city L license and all that and Later on, they revealed that it's a process, and I told them that's not what I wanted. So I had to stay there until they decided to lay me off, and this is at the moving company, and this is after the plumbing days, and then that's when I decided to buckle down and go to a school and 
get my CDO and here I am. <laughs> it was an up and down bump, you know, but eventually I got to there. What'd you say? I don't know. Well, everybody, I'm going to let y'all go. Uh, I want to say thank you for watching, and I guess we'll see y'all up there in Keller, Texas, all right? All right, everybody. Thank y'all. We'll see y'all later. Stay safe, everybody.